Hey, how's it going? Boop. I would like to put landing gear on this, on the seaplane. I wonder if I just need to drag this thing all the way forwards. Yeah, I think I'm going to have this hump thing in the middle, extend the whole way down it. And so landing gear need to go... Where do landing gear usually go? Oh, uh, hmm. That's a problem. Landing gear goes where I want to be walking, which means, which means landing gear goes inside this thing then, I guess. Front landing gear and then rear landing gear can sit up on the back up in here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, hmm, crap. It'd have to like be in here and then poke out or actually probably lower. So let's grab a wheel. Is a 3x wheel too small? Too small. A 5x wheel? 5x wheel is probably okay. Uh, that's pretty funny. Pretty funny. How's that gonna work? There's no way that wheel is going to work. I can get the back ones because they're just going to like fold up backwards. That's no problem. Man, this door is very high up. Hmm. It's such a deep boat now, actually. It's just this thing, isn't it? Just having this on it. I reckon I'm going to have a little hump at the back. Uh, I'll get rid of these landing gears for now. Having this little thing here lets me at least scoop water up into the back. And then I can probably use this. Yep. As a door to let all the water out. Oh, the water would want to come out at the lowest point though. It would want to come out here. I just need a way to dump water and I need a place to store water. So if this is the place to store the water, then it would make sense to just dump it straight out of here as well. Fluid meter. So I'm going to use a fluid meter to count how much fluid is in here. I'm going to have pumps to pump it in. I don't really know what I've done here. Sort of zoned out for a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Let me... Let me... Undo whatever this is. So this thing here is just like a block of fluid ports. I'm going to be able to scoop water up, put it into this tank in the back, and then this whole cluster here is going to have one pump on it, which is going to force all this water out. And it needs a way to get the water into this tank. See, I want to do that because it looks nice. For pumping the water in. Doing two pumps doesn't make any sense. So then this one down here needs to be pumping out of this tank. And I want to move this radiator up if I can. I just want that 
if I can like make it possibly a better physics physics calculation than I will. So by having like a solid floor the whole way through, it should make that one solid block for the physics calculation. So it will come out this one, fill up this tank, and then it will go back down this one, and then through the floor and back up into this thing, and then out the bottom. Okay, let's, let's do it. So you land in the ocean, you suck your water in here, it goes down, then it comes up through here, zigzags around the condenser pumps, then comes up through this pump, fills up this tank, nice tank, fills this up, then it can go through this pump on the right, and then it will drop out all these fluid ports at the back on the bottom. So by doing it that way through this one pump, it means that this is like, it's a valve to stop water just filling in when you're just sitting in the ocean, which like maybe isn't a bad idea anyway. So anyway, landing gear, I'm gonna come over to this hangar, just see what the spawn zone is like. Yep, it doesn't even fit. I think it only just fit before without this little hump on the bottom. But now that I've got the engines in there, there's just no way it will fit. So this is, see there's a thing like, should I have, I shouldn't even bother with landing gear then. Because where can you spawn it? You can't spawn it anywhere that has... You could spawn it here at the desert and at E-Train. But you couldn't spawn it at any of the airports. And if you took it to an airport, you couldn't modify it at the workbench at the airport anyway. Because it's too big. So realistically, your best bet is to just take it to one of the shipyards. Treat it more like a boat than a plane. Seaplane, seaplane... I really don't have much space for landing gear anyway. Yep, I'm going to say it is only a water plane. I mean, that, that makes it a bit easier. <laughs> I think I'm just going to fill up all of those. I might put some equipment back here. Equipment. What kind of equipment would you want? Oh, maybe you'd want parachutes, actually. Hey, what? Oh, I thought you were going to be able to put those inside each other. Four parachutes in the back. I don't really think you could do much with the space back here. Nothing real amazing anyway. And it's probably better to just like seal it off. Can I put a door in the middle? Oh yeah, I need to figure out some of these doors because like they clip in some places. There you go. Mysterious door to the back of the plane. Not strange at all. So that one's okay for opening down here. This one is opening into the wall, which means the wall would need to... The easy solution is to spin this door around like that. No more clipping. And then, yeah, the wall here needs to basically do this. just walling off any space that is kind of unusable and then I'll be able to figure out like if I can actually put anything in there later on. I feel like maybe I could get two sleeping rooms, two cabins, you know? If I just copied this and put it on here, flipped it around the other way, or at least the bed maybe, let's copy this and then I only want... The bed part. Hmm. Could I get another another bed? You might just lose the equipment slots. You'd have to go. Let's see. If it was like sideways, huh? What about that though? Just putting in another bed. Yeah, actually, this would work. This would work, and then I can copy this thing. Yes. There you go, two like basically identical sleeping areas. Ah, oh, this actually look, kind of looks neat, having a little thing by the head. 
this gives me two beds so like if you did want a multiplayer then there's at least sleeping for two people this hallway is like just not good for anything i think maybe i'll do more pipes more decorative pipes through here And I think through here, like, it can be, oh, uh, oh, don't do that. Actually, do close up behind the stairs, though. So I think from here, I'll just do two wedges down, or maybe I'll, so now I've got a huge space in the front. What could go on the front? Um, I think I can put a door in here actually, or like a hatch. And you would be able to hop through into the very front. Maybe that could be a secret, this could be a smuggling area actually. So let's smooth all of this out. Okay, this is going to be my smuggling room. My smuggler's room. If you want to smuggle something. How am I going to put a door on this? I'm just going to flatten it off as well. I'll put something else in the top, but this can be a little... I mean, this is kind of a nice little <laughs> space just to leave like that. I wonder if I can put a window in there. Uh, I could put a window in here. Ooh. I know in some planes there's like a viewing thing. If you come and like lie down below the pilots, you can like look out. That's what this is now. It is a viewing area. Heaps better than smuggling. Two little seats. If I put like a handle in here. Yeah, I wonder if you come and like hold on to that. Are you going to be able to see? Ah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, it'd be neat if I could get it one block forwards. And if I could get more window, if it were here, yeah. yeah. What do I do? Should I put that in just so it's like an option? You kind of have to look forwards in a bit of a weird way. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm just going to leave it. It's. I was thinking it could be another way to control the plane. Like if you wanted to come and lie down, you could look out and fly the plane from there but that's maybe a bit sketchy i think i'm like i don't really care about decorating this too much it works and it's got a lot of functionality in it uh, i just need to get rid of all these gaps because i want all the physics to be real nice on this i don't really care about physics too much so to do it once all right i should get up here so up the top i've got like my main systems so it should be like flick, 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 flick. So the last one should be ignition. And then we should have like fuel pumps. It should be a relay. Oh, I need a breaker because this is a, a plane. I need to put this on the helicopter as well. I need a proper breaker. And this is so when there is a lightning strike, there's something that I can just go boop, boop, turn the electricity right back on. I don't know if I should put it like in the roof that's that's so massive i hate how big they are will a normal relay be okay probably if i flip switch it what if i do which way am i going to flick these from right to left or left to right so instrument two is currently engines but it should be alec L, L, main electricity. So that I should be able to just flip that to get everything to go through the relay. Then the next one across will be, I think, like all the radar and stuff. So I'm going to call that 
avionics. What is avionics? It's a nice sounding word. Category of electrical systems equipment specifically. On. So yeah, we're going to say that's like the radar and all the dash and stuff like that. Well done. One and two then. They're two separate systems. They're not chained into each other. So they can be another one and two. Do I have fuel pumps though? I don't have fuel pump. What do I have? I have valves, I guess. So somewhere in here, the fuel is on a valve, but it's not actually letting anything get into here. What if I call it like props? That way you can run the props or you can run the engine without the props being engaged. And then the last one is ignition. Actually, like ignition, ignition would come first, then props. So you can like turn them off separately or turn them off afterwards. Ignition. Let's do a dry run. So you come in, you would go electrics, avionics, which will be all this crap will light up. Props. So that engages. No, that's wrong. This should be ignition and that should be props. How did I do this backwards? Propellers. Propeller. And I think what I'm going to have to do with the collective is limit it to like 0 to 0.1 because that was like nothing, but it was just going. Or I changed the gearing on the furnace. So you would go turn the electronics on, that'll turn everything on here. And then if there's a lightning strike, you just flip that. Then avionics, ignition, propellers. So I'll need two relays. No, I only want one relay. I'm going to have one battery and I'm going to hide it down here if I can. There must be, oh yeah, here's, here's a good place for my battery. Got a relay. Remember when you used to be able to name relays? So that relay is going to be the main electronics. And then the next switch is actually just going to turn on the displays, like the display and the backlight. And yeah, it'll just be a power switch, basically. And then for the props, I want to use a clutch. Somewhere in here. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, there'll be a clutch like this. There's got to be a better way to do that. Going the other way probably looks nicer, actually. Going forwards, and it's like not just floating out in the open. And I could even... Oh, yeah. Okay, great. I'll do that. It's going to run back through the floor on the other side. So now there's a clutch that separates the props and the fuel line. So yeah, we're going to have a clutch, goes into there, sends off to the other propeller, two propellers, or four propellers, two clutches. And then the next switch is, oh, the next is battery, avionics, ignition, and then propellers. And we can limit the sensitivity on this down, but also the max value. I might change the gearing in the... Um, and the pistons let's just get rid of two of them avionics and main electrics which means i basically need a one by three avionics so we have a composite input and then two on off outputs we have main relay and avionics nice and simple Main relay goes down to that relay. Oh, wait, no, not that one, this one. It's been mirrored also, get rid of that. And then avionics will go to like all these backlights, anything with a backlight down here. And then the other one was 
like props or ignition and the props are kind of on their own thing because I can I've got those two other controllers to start everything I'm just going to jam the clutches on it's just go or no go and if I feel like I need it in the future I'll be able to add a um I'll be able to add a propeller brake to that system right now I've got infinite fuel and infinite electricity on that's terrifying it's weird because these propellers just immediately are going like it's just so much torque I think the throttle probably should be limited no I don't want to spawn here so I want to try and figure out how much throttle or how much collective I need to get going because there is no way to stop the amount of RPS or there's no way to limit the amount of RPS going to the propellers it's all or nothing also why is it leaning over that way all the weight should be on this side shouldn't it I guess that's three doors is three doors way more than steers and two custom doors? I guess that's four doors. It was doing this yesterday though. It's very clearly leaning over in this direction. I should put a tilt sensor on it with a dial and then it'll tell me how much is tilting. That'll be way more accurate than that mass, center of mass purple block thing. Man, this would be a hot poo directly over the furnace. This would be a good storage room, actually. If you can get the boxes and stuff into here, just chuck them in there. Close that. Forget about it. Man, that's full, full collective. It's not enough to get it out of the water. That means I need those gearboxes. And I'll have to make the lever a little bit less sensitive. That'll be the only change, I think. But also... Hmm, maybe I just limit it and make it a little bit more sensitive. Something like this, like 30% sensitivity, 0.2 max value. And I'm also thinking, because you have to go down there all the time, this panel on the side could be good for showing you, like, you could have your fuel tanks at the top, yeah, that's good. Now you can see that you're creating pressure. Oh, I did it wrong. Wait, how come I've got... Hmm, it's doing some weird stuff trying to hop out of the water, but I think generally it's okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Next thing I want to do is the turning system. So I need I need a collective lever in. This is gonna be a little bit complicated. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, so whenever I turn left, it's gonna add more collective onto the right propellers, and whenever I turn right, it's gonna put more collective onto the left propellers. Okay, this will be the test, so I give it some throttle and then I start turning. Whoa. <laughs> uh, okay, that's too much. <laughs> Clamp left and right between negative numbers plus whatever the collective is. This should work. Why doesn't it work? It's because with the negative one, it's adding a negative number to a positive number. No, I need to clamp negative x between 0 and 1 plus y, I think. But the other thing I wanted to try was like the system down here for dropping water. I was thinking this panel here is like landing gear or something. Uh, it's all upside down and I want it to be the right way up. Water tank level a gauge and there'll be zero and whatever then the button directly beside it will be collect 
water. Dump water. Yep, that's what I'm doing. So I need just two pumps and a fluid meter. So one by four, I think. Fire fighting water tank. Man, I've never had a system like this where you can do collecting water in a plane and then potentially putting out a fire. Is there any fires? Maybe if I get a forest fire while I'm flying about, I can test this out. So this would be cool because you can come in and turn everything on, but then you could go collect water. Yeah, I don't know how big this is going to be. Is that a lot of water? It just keeps going. How much is in there? It's going to sink the plane. This is so much water. This can't be right. We're still collecting water. So, oh, okay, wait a minute, that's not good. I need to limit the clamp for turning. I think it's maybe turning the right way though, which is good. Yeah, I need to clamp how much it turns. I think that's how much water I can carry, by the way. 4,600. So I'll turn off that. And now if I just throttle up, we're flying. We're not losing any water, so that's good. If I turn now, it's going to freak out. Oh, it's, it's kind of freaking out. It's because the, the collective on the propellers are suddenly going from like... 0.2 to 1 so they're multiplying by 5 basically immediately it does handle a lot better though like it used to kind of drift it still kind of drifts but now it really like whips around if you let it so I think just adding like 0.1 is probably okay and I kind of want to do the same thing with the pitch on the propellers is tie them into the roll system with A and D because this is just A and D on two control surfaces. It's so slow. Unless I can XML the control surfaces, I might see if that's possible, if I can just give them more lift, make it so it's a lot more agile. And then maybe I can use the ones in the middle as well. I think I had intended that those only be used for takeoff, but if I'm using the propellers for pitch to get me in the air anyway, it's like, meh. So I really, I'm hoping there'll be a forest fire. Wait, I think I can start missions. Oh, great. I can start missions. M start. M start will give you a new mission if you are in creative mode. So I'm just going to go over to this bit of North Harbour, get over... Sawyer Island so that I can try and spawn some forest fire missions hmm doesn't look like I've got any forest fires what if I spawn some meteors meteors usually cause forest fires Forest fire. Oh yeah, um, this is what happens when you spawn a lot of meteors. Maybe I spawned too many meteors. Oh, it's finally coming back. I've never actually seen this part of the map that I'm flying into now. Bunch of small lakes or something. And then a road. I don't think I've ever been on this road. So I guess that's a forest fire down there. I don't know, I can't see. I can't see anything. We'll have to go down for a closer look. 
I've upset the game is not happy. Also, this collective thing is a mess. Oh, there's a fire though. I'm going to put it out. It says I'm dropping water, but I'm not dropping any water. Where's all the water? Mm, the water's going somewhere. Just not out these fluid ports. I bet because I have reduced particles, it's not showing the water. So, I'm going to... I'm going to turn the sky on, collect some water, and get... Uh, I won't do it just yet, but I'm going to get one Meteor Strike, because when you summon a Meteor Strike, it summons it to your position. And, you know, if I'm just sitting here, then a Meteor... I mean, I'll do it for fun. Let's do it for fun. want to bet it lands on me. <laughs> Oh jeez, that's on me, isn't it? Shame there's no trees around here. It's really struggling to get out of the water. So now I'll turn that off. Ah, still no particles. Well, that's dumb. I thought there was going to be a real nice stream of water coming out the back if I go dump. So can I even put out a forest fire? Do I need a bigger port or something? That saddens me. I have an idea. It's maybe not as good. I think probably like nozzles. Nozzles probably give you more of a whoosh kind of thing. Last ditch effort. Oh yes, that's the kind of effect I want. Okay, what I'm going to have to do is like lift this whole assembly up and then put an invisible block on it so you can hide all the nozzles. If I XML one small fluid port to be as big as that square, so like 4x5 or whatever it is, and then lift all the nozzles up, it should get the effect and the look that I want. Okay, try and get out of the water. I think I might need more collective than 0.2, now that I'm a lot heavier. <laughs> I can't even get out of the water. <laughs> Blah, you fool! I think the drag of the water is just holding it down. So I'll go and spawn a fire and try and put it out with my new nozzles. Forest fire? Forest fire. Okay. I just need to turn around and get down there. Okay. I think I'm lined up. No. Uh, I can't even see if there is a fire anywhere. I'm going to start... <laughs> what is that? What is this? It's stopped. It's gone. Am I going too fast? <laughs> it looks like it's only coming out of one nozzle. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is not at all what I expected. Did it work though? It's lagging very badly. Is it lagging or am I just going slow? Super slow. Also, this is absolutely hard. This is so difficult to control. This is the worst. This is flying more like a helicopter right now. Did it put it out? I think it put out a tree. Yeah, I'm seeing some fires going out. I wonder if I can fly down into the water. 
I'm going to stop dumping and start collecting. Come on. No, what are you doing? Get in there. Oh, it's got that thing. It's like... <laughs> Is trying to pitch up when it's at a low altitude. So we're supposed to be collecting water. And it's not. What's happened? We're not in the water is what's happened. The lag is making it really, really difficult to understand which inputs are currently which inputs are currently being interpreted. I don't know what's going on here. See this is this is pretty terrible really. The amount of lag for well, one vehicle and supposedly one forest fire although there is forest, forest fires everywhere okay i'm gonna put this fire out and then pull up pull up pull up here we go I think I missed. I think I went right between two fires. Pull up. Dunk. I don't think I put that fire out. Oh my god. Where is it going? Where is the plane going? <laughs> what is happening? Mm, it, it puts out some fires. I got some stuff done I guess. And the plane sort of works. I'm a bit disappointed about those nozzles not being more of a, a spread of water. But what are you going to do? Well, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.